Today is Tonic Wednesday and I'm going to be sharing with you shimmer powders which if you watch Hedgehog Color regularly you will know is one of my favorite mediums and you can use these as inks, you can use them as backgrounds, you can use them as paint, you can use them as so many different things and they're unique in the fact that they're a color burst that lots of us know about so this one is Meteorite Shower um, but they have mica in and none of the others that I've ever used have mica in so that's why I love these ones so much because you always get inbuilt shimmer and to me I love a little bit of bling in my cards. So I want to share with you a couple of different ways to use shimmer powders. Now you can do a couple of different ways. I like to first of all spritz my cardstock. Now the reason I do that is the um, powder is attracted to where that water is and I find I get less mess. You also get kind of an instant reaction. Now this one is beautiful because it has black, blue, pink, purple, you know, kind of all the things you expect from a meteorite shower. I'm not sure which heat gun I've got here, but let's grab the heat it, which is one of my favorites because if I was to use my Wagner, it would move all of this uh, water and pigment and everything around. Whereas the Ranger heat it has a lower airflow, same temperature, and it doesn't move my particles around. I mean, my card stopped mo curling would move things around, but of course I could just use my finger to hold it down like this. So I'm gonna show you, this is option one. So this is water, then pigment. I'm just gonna dry this off. I'm gonna do it just to the side, only because there's no water there. Okay. So then your next option, I'm gonna start off while I'm drying this, I'm gonna do this two-handed, is you can put the pigment down first. So you do this and then you spritz but as you spritz you're going to move that pigment around instantly so that's our first one look how pretty that is it's not gorgeous and it's got all of that shimmer already in it it's slightly wet still but um it will dry but now you can see i'm going to get a different reaction you kind of actually just like move it around slightly so this one is more watercolory this one is more like fine particles so Again, just a different technique from doing it slightly differently. I'm going to dry this one off too. I'm going to hold it down. You can pat it off with your flower sack cloths or you know, a piece of kitchen towel if you wanted to. I'm just putting it over here to dry it off more. But you'll get some more kind of fine particles doing it with this technique. Uh, it's relaxing back out again which is exactly what we want it to do you might want to dry it from the reverse side that would work as well so i've got some tissue here kitchen towel I seem to be missing my kitchen towel but i'll dry this off for the afters but you can see there you do kind of get a different effect this has a more kind of fine splatter around it and the other one doesn't. So you get a different technique doing it different ways. And the other option you have is to take some shimmer powder, and I'm just gonna put it in the middle of this wet area here. I'm gonna pick up some water. I'm gonna activate. And then you can paint with it, and you kind of get these variegated paints. I mean, how cool is that? You can also use up all the little bits from the side around your But it has lots of sparkle in it. You can also get that gorgeous variation in it too. But look, you can paint with it as well. So don't think, oh, well, I can only create backgrounds for my shimmer paper, shimmer powder. You can absolutely paint with them as well. So lots and lots of techniques there with shimmer powder. I love them. They come in tons of colors. There's yellows and there's reds. There's a Catherine wheel. There's different black ones with different mix-ins. Um, I say every single color, I have a whole rainbow of them. Rainbow ties, of course, on my shelf upstairs. So I hope you'll join me back here tomorrow. Tomorrow we are actually doing top tips with Distress Oxides. That's my next video. Um, so I can't wait to show you Distress Oxides on black and how to get really intense colors. So I'll be sharing all of my top tips and tricks. I'll see you then. Come back soon. Bye.